Last month, off the coast of Maine in the eastern United States, a team of researchers and engineers released a series of tiny floating objects into the water. The team called them buoys, but they looked more like a packet of uncooked ramen noodles glued to green ribbons. They had only one role to go away and never be seen again. With any luck, their successors would soon be released into the open ocean where they would float away. Absorb a small amount of carbon from the atmosphere, then sink to the bottom of the seafloor, where their remains would stay for thousands of years. The team is trying to create a business model. They work for a company called Running Tide, which claims it can remove carbon dioxide from the ocean and atmosphere through the magic of kelp. Running Tide is one of a series of carbon removal companies that have appeared over the past few years. With the hope of taking heat trapping pollution out of the atmosphere and locking it away for centuries. The most famous companies, such as Switzerland's Climeworks or Canada's Carbon Engineering, perform direct air capture using common industrial processes to chemically clean the air of carbon. Running Tide's focus is kelp. Kelp grows as fast as two feet a day, which means it absorbs a huge amount of carbon. That kelp could then be harvested, disposed of, or allowed to naturally drift to the bottom of the ocean. It seemed like the perfect natural tool to absorb carbon from the ocean and atmosphere. But that made me suspicious. The idea that humanity could remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere by growing kelp just sounded too good to be true. So I was pleasantly surprised when I met the leaders of Running Tide earlier this month. At its core, carbon removal is about transferring a mass of carbon from one location to another, Marty Odlin, Running Tide CEO, told me from his home in Maine. The key issue is how to transfer the hundreds of gigatons of carbon released by fossil fuels from the fast cycle, where carbon moves from fossil fuels to the air to plant matter, back to the slow cycle, where they remain locked away in the earth for thousands of years. What's the most efficient way possible to accomplish that mass transfer? This question is really, really important. The United Nations recently said that carbon removal is essential to remedying climate change, but so far we don't have the technology to do it cheaply and on a large scale. Odlin, who comes from a Maine fishing family and studied robotics at college, founded Running Tide in 2017. On the theory that the ocean, which covers two thirds of the planet's surface, would be essential to carbon removal. At least for now, the key aspect of Running Tide's system is its buoys. Each buoy is made of waste wood, limestone, and kelp, materials that are meant to address the climate problem in some way. The wood represents forest carbon that would otherwise be thrown out. The limestone helps reverse ocean acidification. And most importantly, the kelp grows rapidly, absorbing carbon from the land and sea. Eventually, the buoy is meant to break down, with the limestone dissolving and the wood and kelp drifting to the bottom of the seafloor.